Hey, hello, welcome guys. So in this video, I am going to give you basic overview about the integration, what I have created. That integration is going to read data, data file from SFTP server and it will create CSV file for header and lines for importing the, uh, importing the AP invoices and then it will create a zip file and then we will upload that zip file over UCM server with the help of bulk upload facilities of Oracle ERP cloud adapter and that will automatically run the import program which will upload all the data whatever data we uploaded in the zip file upload imports all the data into Oracle Fusion and our AP integration will be created based on that the FDI import, import, FDI import we implemented in the integration. So let me first go through the integration and explain you about the integration what I have created. So here you can see this is the basic integration that integration will first read the data from SFTP server and then after processing the data it will create CSV file for header and line then it will create create the properties file and it will upload the zip of the zip of the all the files in in UCM server with the help of bulk upload facilities and then our invoice will be created so I will show you this this integration let me explain so I will create separate video in which video I will I will create integration from a starting to complete and I will create that in uh, that videos in separate parts so first part I will explain you how we can get say, data file from server then I will show you that how we can then I will add that add uh, logic in that integration only that how we can implement that and how we can generate CSV file and then how can how we can create zip file and then we will use bulk upload everything I will show you in next videos by part by part so this is the part zero of the the list so part zero in that part zero I have already created integration I am just I am giving you the brief about that integration in part one I will a part one part two part three I will create complete integration this complete integration where I will I will teach you each and every point how we, you will identify the error and how you can add the logics to read a file or everything so let me first start so here you can see this is the start of the integration in the start of the integration what we are going to do is that I have added some variable that variable is going to store some default values for example you can see this is the laser ID variable and the business unit ID as we know that while importing the pro like importing run the import program we required business unit and the laser ID so that's why I added that values here only so these are the basic details so for the basic details whatever we required in our complete integration I created one assign operation of a activity based on that assign activity I added all these value after that what I have done is that here you can see this is our SFTP server from this server I have to read the file so here you can see we have two folder invoice line and invoice header so in this two folder I will provide the file and that file will be read in Oracle integration and will be consumed in Oracle fusion so here let me upload the header and line file so here you can see I have already created this header and line file so if you will see is the header file header CSV file we have the invoice details this invoice all these invoice details are required to create the FDI's template so that we can upload the FDI template so here you can see I have already created the invoice with this 4 and 5 so I will give 5 and 6 so this two invoice will be imported and I will upload this CSV file with the data over SF2P server so this is 56 this is the header file let me do the changes in line file also so here line I will also make this 5 and the 6 so here you can see we have this FDI data file for header and lines this two separate data file will be uploaded over server so here this is our server so here in the header folder I will upload this header file and in the line folder I will upload the line file these two file will be play, pick from the integration only so here you can see first what I have done is that I have used FTP adapter to list the file I just want to know that is there any file available over server or not so suppose if we don't have file over SFTP server don't we don't require to go and process rest of the things so here what I have done with the help of list operator list operation I just identify that do we have data file over SFTP server or not and what a logic we have implemented that the, at a single time it will read only a single file if that file that server have multiple files it will also not process so here you can see I have added the condition so this is the first condition that if if list file have one values only one values then we are going to read the file from FTP server 
here first we added the list operation so that we can identify do we have values or not and then after i added the ftp adapter to read the file from server so this is read file operation for the header file so this is the header file we will read and then we will read the line file one by one so here you can see i added a ftp adapter to read the header file then after what i have done is that i use a stage operation that write header csv write operation so that whatever data we receive from sftp server we created a new csv file based on the structure of the csv of the fbdi template so here you can see i uploaded one csv file and that csv file name is that ap invoices interface csv this is the same name where we manually create fbdi fbdi file the fbdi zip file for uploading the template so here you can see we have invoice id business unit id all these details we have all the columns here right you can see all the columns which is present in the vi sheet so we created one csv file and in the csv file we provided the mapping from the data whatever data we receive from the server then after once we created the we created the csv file for header then again we uh, use list operation to get the line file so here in this line folder we use list operation to identify that do we have file over server or not so here after that we again added the logic if we have file and count is one then we what we done is that here we list the line folder and here we read the line data so with the help of ftp adapter we again use used to read the file so here we we are using we are reading the line file so this is the line file available over this directory you can see invoice line directory if i will show you this directory here you can easily see that the data you can see the operation we are using read a file and here we provided the directory path from where we need to read so here if you will see the path what we provided in the mapping you can see from the list file whatever data we receive from the list file we pass to read the file so here you can see this is the rest response and from the read response we provided the file name and the file directory so here with the help of this endpoint what we have done we have read the csv file available over server for the line details now based on this csv file of the line details we generated new csv file with the help of for the template of csv line csv so here when we are working on fdi approach we require two csv file one for header and one for line so this is the syntax for the this is the stage operation which is going to create the line csv file and if you will see the name it will be the same as the file generated ap invoice lines interface dot csv and we are pro like creating this file or that uh, oracle integration temporary directory or virtual directory that is slash fbdi so we added uh, all these things so here you can see these are, are all the values for the csv template we required you can see in the last it's and because of that is the csv file right so now here till now what we have done is that we added the we created the header csv and we created the line csv here you can see once our header csv generated in oracle integration we updated the flag this is the flag variable we updated flag as header csv created flag is equals to y and here once the lines file generated line csv generated again we updated the flag and we make that line csv created flag is equals to y now it means that when our control will move here it means that we have successfully created header and line csv file now it's time to create the properties file whenever we are using bulk upload of erp cloud adapter that properties file they required to run the import program so here you can see i added a if condition that if we successfully created header file you can see if header csv created flag var is equals to y and the line csv created flag is equals to y when this condition will be true then only we are going to generate the properties file so with the help of write stage we are creating the properties file that you can see if the name of that file you can easily identify the property file dot properties so this name can be anything but the syntax the file format should be the dot properties and i i created this file on the same location that is the slash fvdi and here if you will see the data in this file you can see the data is the job package name the first parameter or first column is the job package name second column is the job definition name and third column is the argument one two three these all argument we are getting from the import program only so whatever import program we are using for uploading the ap invoices we have import table invoices 
so here if you will see all the argument which we pass here in the mapping for creating the zip file you can see this is the import tables invoice program if you will go and check the properties here in the parameters you can identify all these parameters here Here you can see the first parameter, second parameter, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And remember the first parameter, this one, first to second parameter is the business unit name and the 12 parameter is the ledger ID. Remember this first, second par argument 2 is the business unit ID and argument 12 is the ledger. Right. And these all are the details. So you can see this is the import set name and all. So I have created variable for that. So I have already created separate variable for each every point. So here you can see. Let me close this point. So now here you can see in the mapping of this file properties file. What I provided is that I provided the value. All the value you can see the job package name. This is the package name for the AP invoices details, right? And this is the definition name. This is also the same for all the AP invoices import program. And you can see the first third third column for that properties file is the zip file prefix prefix whatever zip file we are going to create what is the prefix for that zip file so I already created one variable in that variable I stored the properties file zip file right zip file prefix name and you can see this is the argument and this argument too as I told you that is the business unit ID so I created one variable to store business unit ID, created one variable to store ledger ID. You can see the argument 12 is the ledger ID. Argument 12 is mapped with the ledger ID. And the argument 13 and the 14 is that one, whatever we are getting from here only, you can see the 14 one. So how you can identify that kind of value? So this is the, like you can see, this is the business unit ID and this is the ledger ID. So if you will run the import program, import AP invoices, like import payables invoice, You can see I will like just explain you a little bit so that it will be easy for you to identify. So here you can see the business unit ledger and the source there. So as suppose I am going to use external and this is the import set and all. So import set. And if I will run that one, I can get the actual sequence of the parameter. Everything. Don't we don't require to go to the setup and maintenance and figure out the values from there. Directly we can get while running for the test sample we will run one import program and based on the import program we will get all the parameters from here only. So here you can see the import program and in this import program you can see all the parameter list the argument 1, argument 2, 3, 4 that all we need to add in the properties file only. So argument 1 to the 14 it is mandatory to add and the first three column is the job name, job definition name, job name job definition name and the zip file prefix and these all the parameters argument 1 to argument 14. So I added I will explain you each and every point when I will create the next video to explain and once our zip is completed created what we have the we sorry first we created the properties file and once property file created we created the zip file zip space to make the zip of all the file we created and then this is a zip file we are using to upload we are uploading using bulk upload operation of the ERP cloud. So if you will see here, so here you can see in the operation, we added the action as a import bulk data into Oracle ERP cloud editor. And next, if you will see right now, I have not enabled the callback facilities as it is not configured in the next videos. I will also explain the callback facilities. So here you can see this is the UCM account account and you can see import job name and the package name. So whatever values we added in the properties file that is I have taken only from here only so no need to go somewhere and find out that figure out that the value so you can see this is the package name this is the job name and this is the package name the second uh, second column of the properties file so I picked from here only okay so now fine this is the done the, we added the ERP and here if you'll see the mapping of the bulk upload ERP cloud bulk upload we provide the mapping of the zip file and the name of the zip file so here you can see in the ICS file, this is a file reference and in properties, I provided the file name. So what is the file name? Zip file name. You can see this is a zip stage response. And from the zip stage response only, I provided the file reference and the file name to the ERP cloud adapter, right? So with the help of this adapter, the zip file is going to upload over UCM server. And then with the help of the property file added in the zip file, that will automatically run the import program. 
and after import program what i have done is that this erp cloud adapter is going to return the request id and this request id i have going to map as a response of this integration so here you can see this is the response of the integration and here i map import program request id as a bulk upload erp adapter the result so now let me show you let me run this integration i will show you how it's working and it's created the transaction in oracle fusion so this is the integration i created so let me sorry it's already activated so just i will go and test so here you can see in body i don't want to provide anything as i have not configured just i will click on the test once i will click on the test it will read the data from server and it will create csv file based on that fvdi template and then it will create one properties file then it will merge all these headers lying csv and properties file into a zip file and that zip file will be uploaded over ucm server you with the help of bulk upload so here in response you can see we got the request id you can see 394 in last so once i will go here and if i will search i will get the request id whatever request id i receive from the integration response so here you can see this is the request id for load interface file for endpoint i request id is 394 in last you can see 394 in the last so it will take some time to complete so you can see I, we will track this integration this request id so let's check 394 it will complete and then once this will be completed it will run the import program that import program remember will be run, run by help with the help of that the properties file we added so here you can see this 34 is succeeded and after that you can see it's run the import pebbles program this is the, our main program main program which is going to load the data into the base table so this is also succeeded once this program completed is it automatically run the import report program so you can see that import pebbles invoice report so once you will check here you can also identify from here only so right now it's in waiting status once let me complete so 403 is the import pebbles invoice output so i will check this one and here in the output only we can identify that do we our invoice created or not so here you can see um, here we have go below yeah this one report right it succeeded so once after selection you will go below you can see this is the report once you will click here you can see this is the import set we created i added the logic of import set is that xx import set underscore the instance id of the integration which runs so you can see the two zero and you can see this is the instance id right so i added in the logic only and here you can see number of parallel processing one and here you can see payable open interface audit report you can see these two are the invoices five and six created right these are the invoices first invoice have the two lines and second invoice has the third line if our invoice got any error and not imported it will get generated error result only so let me now search the same invoice in the front end so i will copy this name i will go to the front end tables and invoice so here i will search the invoice you can see it will show the invoice created you can see that 006 and these all are the details you can see so this is the basic integration that integration is going to implement the fdi approach to load the api invoices into oracle fusion i in next video i will explain you how to create it from a start to end right so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment and we will try to solve that query thank you so much for watching